Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Domsko. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Torepko and, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. podcast. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Here we are for the next leg of Aslan Karatsev's journey. The match just seemed to suddenly just get underway all of a sudden. Uh, I was keeping a close eye on it, and there was no more. Well, the streams weren't running, and suddenly the match kicked off, and the, still the streams weren't running. So, uh, yeah, we've just had one game, and Aslan Karatsev has already held his serve and uh, won love. What else can you say in the words of Blue? So what do you reckon on this one? Great to have everybody in for this uh, live matchup. Just going to pop a little ticker along the bottom there for you. It's just going to be me. JG might be joining us in a little bit. Uh, he's just out at the moment, but I said I'd still uh, follow the Karatse bandwagon, uh, well, hopefully all the way to the final, because that's where I've got him finishing this tournament. Uh, and I had Zverev winning it, so don't quote me on it. But Karatsev, as we know, he's been in pretty scintillating form of late. And I don't want the uh, the hype train to ever end. So uh, there's been quite a lot of, uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of people saying, awaiting the song, <laughs> says Abdul. Indeed. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, people in the chat just giving the update before the stream started, saying game Karatsev. It was indeed. We've got Karatsev here, 15.30 on the uh, quarter serve. Good serve out to the backhand side. He goes to try and put it away. It's a great winner down the line from Karatsev. We got two break points early here from the Russian. Love to see that. Absolutely love it. Yeah, and we've got, uh, yeah, great to have uh, a lot of all of you in there. We've got uh, Oisin in there. That's the correct pronunciation. Good evening. And uh, yeah, Mele is saying the Ben Ben Forcer laying down the GTL law. Indeed. That's it. Thomas Rocks joining us in there. We got Jackie in there as well. Great to have you all in. And uh, let us know which way you think this match is going to go. Uh, do we think that the Karatsev train is going to be stopping at Station Corder? Or do we think we, he's going to be uh, breezing past? No stopping at this station. On to the next one. And, uh, well, we've seen uh, who is going to potentially be playing in the next round now. Uh, it's quite an interesting one, uh, as I'm sure you're all aware. And uh, look at there's JG. He's jumped in from uh, wherever he is. <laughs> He's out and about. But um, hopefully he'll be back home soon and uh, he'll be able to join us maybe for the uh, second set. We'll get in before it finishes. But, uh, yeah, as you know, uh, we've got next round, Chilich Rublev. That's going to be a real interesting matchup. The winner of this matchup will play Diego Schwartzman. He was just on court before these two and uh, quite an impressive performance, really. He managed to absolutely uh, blow Manorino off the court, considering how good Manorino is as a hard court player. Absolutely no contest. I was surprised that he was going to get bageled in that first set. I'm terrible performance uh well uh that's the schwartzman effect i think and then maybe he's just used to uh playing over there in in america likes the heat obviously being argentinian but come on well we've got a basso we've got a first prediction there saying two nil karatsev or two love sorry it's a bit of a football score there oh good return there he's forced the juice back to juice and a uh, quarter not moving his feet on the baseline there yeah, you're going to have to uh, allow me a little bit of time just to have a little drink, just because JG's not here to fill in the gaps tonight. <sighs> nice. As you can see, I'm repping the uh, bit of American, bit of Russian, but I think you all know who I'm really repping. We know we want the Karatsev bandwagon to uh, keep going. So uh, Davos in, he's <laughs> I'm here to gloat about what happened to the young Italian, Massetti out of the tournament and uh the bookies didn't give chilich enough respect he was the underdog against this young italian and uh chilich put him in his place straight sets win 
Oh, advantage quarter now. Serving into uh, the Karatsev backhand. It was long that time. Does it again. Good return from Karatsev. Oh, it's wild though. And Korda manages to hold. Faced a couple of break points already. But yeah, Davos absolutely uh, buzzing after that win. Uh, sort of derailing the uh, Massetti hype train a little bit. I think that would have been a real big win for Massetti if he'd have been able to beat... Uh, well, if he was able to beat Chilich on hard courts, that's no easy feat, is it? So, who else have we got here? Give us some predictions in there. We got uh, Oisin saying Karatsev should breeze it too love. I don't think it's that simple, guys. I don't think you realize uh, Corder's a very, very good player. And don't forget, he's got that sort of mental edge over Karatsev. He did beat him in the French Open qualifi well, qualification, the last round of the qualification. Just when we thought Karatsev was going to storm onto the scene uh, and we were sort of talking about it. And then he didn't make it because Corder was the one who did well in that French Open, got to the fourth round. Both of these players have had very good Grand Slam performances in the last six months. So I think two of the, uh, they couldn't uh, ask to meet someone tougher, really, in this draw uh, in, at this stage of the competition. So. Michael's going for quarter in three. I think, I think it's a possibility. I don't, th I don't think you. It's Karatsev's going to have it all his own way. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very tough match. Oh, good serve there, and it's thirty love. If you have a look back through, just while there are, uh, well, Karatsev's preparing to serve again. You can see Karatsev in this tournament so far has only had to play Kakushkin. He uh, got a bye through the first round, so. And Sebastian Corder, look, he's had quite a good one. He managed to beat uh, Radu Albot, who's not been bad of late, and uh, Fabio Fanini. Then he came back from a set to love down and uh, managed to win in three. So well done to him. Well, thanks, everybody who has joined. Uh, just, I was going to say us then, uh, joined the channel, joined me. Uh, if you haven't liked the video yet, come on, guys, 40 of you in. Everybody hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, and uh, you might get lucky if we get all those likes in. We might get an early little Karatsev button, get impressed at some point, because I know that you all can't wait to, uh, to, to hear the Karatsev uh, button once more. I jumped in. I feel like I helped him through the last round when he was losing uh, in his last match against Kukushkin. And then I sort of jumped in the stream, and then he's, he's, it all turned around, didn't it? Hoping that I can be his lucky charm. But we will see. Don't want to jinx anything. I've not been as Zverev's lucky charm, that's for sure, in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. I'm trying to uh, watch the match as well as, uh, as, well as do the uh, comments. See, it's more difficult on your own. So is, <laughs> is Ben going to completely ignore talking about the obliteration of Martin in under one hour? No, I am not, Jackie. It was crazy. I mean, we were sort of thinking, can Martin get his revenge? But I can see now why Martin doesn't want to play him again. That's what he kept saying. I don't want to play you again. I've played you three times now, lost three times. And it, it was just getting more convincing every time. Rublev, well, he's looking like one of the ones to beat in this tournament. And uh, I think he'll be relishing trying to get one back over Karatsev if he gets to meet him again. Because... He wasn't happy uh, with his performance against Karatsev. He wasn't able to play his normal game. And Karatsev now facing break point here. Ooh, facing a break point. Uh, well, early in this set, both players. There we go. Where's he going to pop this serve? Down the tee. It was close, just wide, though. Got some love for uh, Sebastian Corder there. Michael wants the quarter button. Well, yeah, have to hope that I've had time to make one, mate. That's what you have to hope. <laughs> there we go. Playing it down the middle. Karatsev injects the pace. Now down into the forehand side. He loops it back up again. And Karatsev hitting it with some real venom. Oh, just, just long, that one. It looked like it could have landed in nearly. Good play from Karatsev, though. Aggressive as ever. So, uh, do you think we're going to see, I don't know, there's part of me that thinks it's going to go to three. I don't know what it is. I don't want to uh, jinx Karatsev. I think Karatsev 
can definitely win it. But I think Corder can cause him some problems here today. And uh, potentially, if Karatsev goes off the boil for a little bit, you never know. Like For me, it's like dreamland. It's a... Uh, When's when's the uh, when's it ever going to finish this amazing form of Karatsev? I don't ever want to see it finish. I'm hoping this is him until he retires. Oh, great serve there, and it's uh, out there. Good serve into the body. So, yeah, I mean, some of those other results today. Anyway, I know that we're speaking about Rublev, cracking result that was. Uh, some of the other results that are also going on today, obviously. I had quite a good prediction, didn't I, with the old Fritz Nori one? I said I think Nori will take a set off him, but Fritz will do, do him in three. Not a bad prediction, that one. I think that one came in. Bublik, he did very well through straight sets against Duckworth. And then we got TFO going through once more. He loves it, doesn't he? Those, these Americans doing well. And that's another reason to a possibly back corder as well, playing in his home country. So difficult. I always say don't back uh, the opponent uh, when they're playing somebody in their own country, but it is Karatsev, so I'm a little bit biased. So, yeah, we had, obviously, Denis Shapovalov. He went tumbling out once more. Not a great matchup for him, Hubert Herkaj. I mean, Herkaj, on his day, he was obviously, well, he obviously won a tournament earlier this year uh, in Del Rey, and that was actually against Sebastian Corda. Uh, Corder didn't really seem to turn up in that final, like a deer in the headlights a little bit. So we'll have to see. Now he's playing against uh, somebody who has all of the spotlight on him. I don't know how used to it. Uh, <laughs> a little bit biased. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. <laughs> Only a little, little touch, little smidge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, for Karatsev, uh, it's just been a whirlwind. The The past three months must be i don't i don't i'd love to know what's going on inside his mind right now and how everything must have changed and how he's now probably just being recognized like well, obviously when the world goes back to normal a little bit more he will he, he won't be able to just go back to the the way things were before the pandemic started he's just going to be getting noticed everywhere so this is it this is him for life now mate get used to it uh, I, he's got a very uh, little bit shy, I think, Karatsev, but I think it's very endearing. Uh, I think very humble guy as well, and quite a funny guy, good good sense of humour. Don't forget Corda, looking to follow in the footsteps of his dad, who is a Grand Slam winner. So be interesting if he can emulate uh, some of his his father's form. But Corder's been looking pretty good. I mean, considering Corder, 20 years old, and uh, he's been playing pretty well uh, uh, on the highest level, really. We've seen him do well in, obviously, the French Open, which was quite, a, quite an epic result, really, in the French Open. I don't think anybody expected it from him. Uh, he went through three rounds of qualifying, and then he took out Seppi, John Isner, and Pedro Martinez before obviously going out to uh, the famous Rafael Nadal in the match where uh, he was heavily criticised from <laughs> from JG for getting Rafael Nadal's autograph after the match. So he said he didn't want these fanboys. Oh, just get my seat up a bit. I feel like I'm a little bit low. Right. Love 30 here on the quarter serve. And could this be the first chance... We've had break points already on the quarter serve. Down the line. Good shot there from Karatsev. Good slice there from Korda and sliced back. Korda into the net. Oh, well wide that from Karatsev. It went outside the tram lines. So, but good pressure there from Korda. Did well to stay in that rally. So, 15-30. Uh, I agree with Elizabeth there. Schaffer needs to fix his mental game. And being able to close out matches definitely does. Yeah, indeed. And there's Chris Smear. He's made it in. How are you doing, bro? Well, how are you doing, bro? Are you all right? Good to have you in. Got a few people. Well, all the regulars from the Discord. 
we got Ziga in saying, where can I watch the game live? You can watch the game live, uh, I believe, on Tennis TV, uh, Amazon Prime in the UK, or if you've got a gambling account, you can watch it on one of those. <laughs> Midfield Meister saying, it's just it's too easy to, to just say, get a new coach. Yeah, I mean, seems to be like the quick fix, doesn't it? Oh, just get a, get a new coach. Yeah, I know, Chris, I'm, I am home alone. Well, not home alone, but stream alone. Could be a, my own version. Oh, great recovery here from Karatsev. Ah, oh, long. And he's managed to hold their quarter. Well, look. And uh, Chris Smears coming in with the predictions. And it's a very big one, which is quarter 2 1. A little wink. <laughs> so, very, very interesting prediction there. We know Chris Smear. Had a bit of a storm in day. I think it was yesterday. We managed to predict, I think, five match results in a row, uh, or at least five uh, betting selections, which was pretty impressive. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to get some uh, good tips off of Chris Smear, then jump in our Discord. Discord. Uh, I'll pop a link in the live chat now, but it's uh, you can go in the uh, in the description. There's a link in there as well. People, what people are in our live chat, they're all in the Discord. They're all chatting tennis twenty four seven. It never ends. The live chat's never over. So jump in there, and then if you want to, you can, I don't know, talk tennis, talk whatever you want, and you can also talk cryptocurrency, and you can also talk about uh, tennis clash if you want to play against myself or JG or any of the other uh, GTL family in there. But here we go, Karatsev, love fifteen. Not seen any games to love yet, have we? And then we've got Mikey Matters in. How are you doing, bud? And we've got Gerald in as well. How are you doing? Here we go. Karatsev fires it into the net. And love 30. And we've seen frailty on both players' serves so far. Neither's looked that confident yet, uh, which is a bit, I don't know, a bit shaky start from both people. Didn't expect to see that. Here we go. Love 30. Oh, out into the forehand side. Chopped back into play. Karatsev. Oh, it's a terrible forehand from Karatsev into the net. And he's fired a ball miles out the stands now. Don't know. And he's got a warning for that one. He's noticeably angry with himself right now. Karatsev. Two poor backhands into the net. Middle of the net. Not even close. So we go three break points, Sebastian Corda. Oh, and he's got a second serve to look at too here. Here we go, Corda. Staring down the barrel of the gun right now. Good second serve, good return. Oh, great cross court forehand there from Karatsev. And what a shot under pressure. That's how you uh, save a break point. And he's looking visibly stressed right now, I think. But. Managed to save a break point. One down, two to go. But Corda looking for the first break of the match. And we've got uh, Mikey asking, what do you think of uh, uh, Cerebra's Tormo? Just having like, a storm in 2021, to be honest, mate. I think she's looking absolutely fantastic right now. And uh, I'm interested to see. I haven't had a chance. I can have a maybe have a quick check to see who she's got in the next round. She's playing well. She's playing tonight. She's playing uh, Ons Jabur. Wow, what a matchup that's going to be. And uh, Ons Jabur is a heavy favourite, but do not rule out Cerebra's Tormo. I think that she has a very good chance in that matchup. And uh, we've got another matches on, or well, other matches on at the moment. We've got Naomi Osaka is in action right now, and she's up against Elise Mertens. She's a set to love up, and it's three all, but she's threatening the break once more. And... Uh, Sad to see uh, Anna Kunja could be the... Uh, she can't conjure up uh, a comeback from here, surely. She's a set and a breakdown against uh, Sevastova. And that's it. Look at that. We've got our first breaker serve. A long backhand. And the backhand side seems to be letting down Aslan Karatsev.
at the back end multiple times now in that service game. Hopefully that is not a thing uh, well, a sign of things which are going to continue in this matchup. We will have to wait and see, but don't forget, not a break unless he consolidates. So let's wait and see. And we've got a hello from Marley. Wow. Hi, how are you doing there? That's a Abubakar. How you do? Abubakar Cisse. Nice. Right. So do you think he's going to consolidate this? Oh, and Chris Smear is just trying to he's trying to put an end to this uh, Karatsev bandwagon. Like, come on, Chris Smear, get on board. Trying to derail the Karatsev train. Yeah, we've got uh, Prabesh saying, Karatsev not doing well when balls are sliced and closer to the net than the baseline. Yeah, I mean, I think Corder's done a good job with his slice in this match so far, if I'm honest. I think he's been really slicing the ball well. He's getting good length on the slice. Very good uh, net clearance as well. It's only just creeping over the net. So very, very good play. So some of the other matches that were on today, just to uh, run through them, I was just speaking about them before. Sabalenka, she looks like she's back to her best. She absolutely demolished Vondrasova 6-1, 6-2. Quite an incredible performance from her. Uh, I wouldn't want to be playing her in the next round. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see who she's actually got. I might have to do a little bit of investigative work while we're on the stream. Here we go. Good start to that service game from Corda. Looking to consolidate that break. So, I can have a quick look. Ooh. Let's have a quick look to see who Sabalenka will be playing in the next round. She will be up against uh, Ashley Barty. Oof, cool. Who, obviously, another result, she managed to beat uh azarenka in three sets a bit of a weird one uh a bit of a typical women's affair that one where uh six one in the first set then lost the second set six one then won the final set six two oh wide there from corda on the forehand he's getting pushed back uh further behind the baseline yeah we got some aslan love uh coming in there vamosing for aslan <laughs> i like it a bit of vamos for aslan why not Let's get, get those Bamoses out. I'm sure he doesn't mind a bit of Spanish support as well. Oh, get those high knees in. Right. So we got 15 all here. Sebastian Corda. Where's he going to put this serve? Down the tee. Good return. Great depth on the return. And oh, Karatsev rushing his shots a little bit in this match so far whipping it a bit too much and uh it's just hitting the net so fingers crossed he can make some adjustments i think in a, a lot of his matches he does go down a break in the first set so don't panic it happens it's happened before it might happen again but he's a he seems to love three sets for some reason Kratz said what a great play from corda there though serve out wide and then a great winner into the open court off the return yeah, I mean, it didn't do enough with the return, really. Karatsev just popped it back into the middle of the court. And uh, Korda looking to consolidate this break right now. It's coming close. It's got two chances. Where's he going to pop this? Oh, there you go. It was into the body and into the net. And there you go. Just like that, we have consolidation. Ah, oh, look at that. Consolidation, Sebastian Corda, and 4-2 up. And uh, Jasper coming in saying, finally here again for a watch-along. Good to have you in, bud. Nice to see it. Oh, and the helmet saying, uh, will you watch uh, Andriescu Muguruza? Wow, what a matchup that one is. Uh, do we know when that one is? Is that one playing tomorrow? That one is... Or is it late? If it's a late night one, unfortunately, we will not be showing that one, unfortunately, because it's going to be quite late here, even by the time uh, by the time this one finishes. Oh, come on, Chris Mir. Do me a favor. Can't be a business end already. So 
Here we go. 15 love. Karatsev does not want to go. Double breakdown. So Gregor's asking, do you think this might be it for our boy Karat? Chechenato 2.0? <laughs> I hope not. I don't want to see it end, mate. I just want to see it continue. We want to have that. I want to, I want the song to at least make it to the summer. It's a bit of a summer tune. Served it Corder long on the return. Don't forget Corder was tight when he played that final in Delray Beach. So it was tightening up a little bit when it came to the big points. So we're not at the business end just yet. Let's wait and let's Chris Mia calm down. Calm yourself down, mate. You can uh you can wait. Because Karatsev, if he holds here, he could also break back. The pressure will be back on Corder. Here we go. 30 love. Good serve down the tee. Good backhand. Oh, that's the more the Karatsev we know and love. Big backhand winner. Cross court. And we're at 40 love. Looking for our first game to love. Can, well, can he give us our first game to love? I hope so. Wait and see. There we go. Oh, it's a big serve. Oh, good return. Good shot. Oh, it's just long down the line. That was the money one, wasn't it? The one down the line. <sighs> Never mind. No game to love this time. <laughs> Chris Smith saying, Ben, check is Se Sebastian Corder uh, can go to the lyrics of Well, can it go to it? Don't think it fits, mate. I don't think it's the right syllables. Oh, it's into the net this time from and from uh, 40 love. We're at 40 30 now. Yeah, you got to have the right amount of syllables, mate. You can't just be throwing uh, any names in willy nilly. So 40 30 here. Karatsev. Where's he going to pop this serve? He could do with an easy point here. So out to the backhand side. It's long and he holds. There we go. So 4 3. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just needs to stick in it. Just needs to stick in it. Give us your give us your first set score predictions as well. I really want to hear what predictions you have. Because uh <laughs> No, no, I hope it's Sharuk. I'm I'm hoping so too. Hopefully I'm not a one hit wonder like Karatsev. <laughs> I hope not too. Don't worry, mate. I'm just at the start of the uh the musical uh the musical tennis journey. This is only what the well, I think it's the third it's the first original song that I've created for a player. But it's the I think it's the third actual song that I've done on the channel. So there'll be more coming, don't you worry. There's plenty more coming. So we've got some predictions coming in. We've got Wild Live going with 6-4 Corder. Could be a wise choice, that one. Could be a wise one. And Jasper going with 7-6 uh, Corder. So you think there's going to be a break back in this from Karatsev, similar to the Yannick Sinner match. That was, uh, yeah, he actually yeah he broke back but then still lost the first set against Yannick Sinner. <clears throat> so... Uh, I can announce Osaka has just won in her match against the Lees Mertens, and she progresses through to the next round. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. And <laughs> I spoke too soon, didn't I? I said, could Anna conjure, conjure up a, return, a, a comeback? She looks like she might be doing it. She's coming back. She is now back on serve in the second set against uh, Severstova, and it's now 4-3. Uh, Incredible. What a story of the tournament she is as well. Hopefully she can uh, make it through. Another bit of a revelation she is. So, quarter serving. 4-3. Down, they're playing it down the middle here. Oh, great shot from quarter there. He hits the line there on the inside out forehand. Too good for Karatsev. Couldn't control it. Yeah, well, we've got Ivan Masic is in, and that's it. Giving that uh, Maran Cilic 
deserves some uh, some plaudits for beating Massetti. It's no easy uh, feat to beat him because, don't forget, he was in the semifinals in Acapulco. Uh, I only lost to, to Tsitipas. So, very good performance. Ooh, Karatsev attacks that second serve, but not the same Karatsev uh, that we were seeing of, of late. We were seeing winners. That one just wide. Here we go. 30 love. Can he make it to the magic five first? Oh, he's got another second serve to look at. And is this where the quarter serve starts to uh, starts to go a bit shaky? Good second serve. Good return from Karatsev. Cross court. Down the line from quarter. Great power in that forehand. And again, down the line. Karatsev getting it back with interest. Now he's gone with a slice. Oh, a great shot there from Korda, and he's forced the error from Karatsev, and we're 40 love here, and Korda putting on the pressure right now. And Soren's getting worried, doesn't think we're going to get a business end here. Well, it's all down to Aslan Karatsev, whether we do or not. Yeah, I want to say thanks, everybody who's joined me for this matchup. If you haven't liked the video yet, hit that like button, and there you go, our first game to love. So, uh, well, I think being one game away, can he grab this first set? Sebastian Corder, he's just doing his thing out there. And Soren's saying, where's JG? Well, I think he uh, he plays for a football team. Uh, so I think he had a Monday night match. Uh, lockdown got released uh, a little bit. And uh, they're allowing people to go back to uh, sports and things like that. So he's gone to play for his football team in the league that they're in so good luck to him hopefully they win and uh, he comes back and they might be able to join us for hopefully the second set you never know or maybe if it goes to three maybe the third we'll wait and see because Karatsev not playing too well right now <clears throat> but he's played a lot of tennis there's nothing uh, more true than that and I'm not going to start making excuses for him but at some point, he, uh, even the best players, they start to uh, wear down. And he's got, uh, well, he's got a lot of weight in those calves to carry around, hasn't he? He's got a lot of, uh, well, he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders as well, if I'm honest. I think, here we go, he's serving. Love 15. Oh, great winner off of the uh, second serve there from Corder. Not taking any prisoners. Giving Karatsev a taste of his own medicine a little bit. Sorensen played my first tennis match of the year today. Very exciting. Oh, nice one, mate. Did you win? Or was it just a friendly? Yeah, and Charlie saying, I think it's a case uh, or for, uh, it's a case of fatigue for Karatsev. It could well be. Yeah, it could well be. So, and there you go. It's into the net again, and he's... Uh, it looks like he's, I wouldn't say struggling, but he's not really uh, hitting it very cleanly today, so far anyway. And uh, we find ourselves already. Sebastian Corda has three set points and three break points. Three break set points. Oh, he didn't get the first serve in. So... There we go. Second serve, Karatsev. Korda. Oh, no. He's went for it, and it just flew off. I think I'm going to have to fix my internet at the end of this first set, because I think it's on a... Uh, I'm on the Wi-Fi, rather than the cable, I just noticed. <laughs> I don't want to be lagging any more than necessary. <laughs> Charlie's saying, I live here in, in, in Broward. It's hot as balls all day long. Where about where's it? Where is that? Oh, Karatsev can't get a first serve in right now. Where's he going to put the second serve? Corder, is he going to try and go for it again? All or nothing. I think it's wise to. It's a double fall. He doesn't have to. And there you go. Aslan Karatsev has lost the first set, but more importantly, it's a break. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, a break of serve. And Aslan Karatsev has lost the first set, but Sebastian Korda has won it. And uh, time to have a bit of Korda button, I think. I mean. A little bit of a quarter button there. Uh, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, uh, please help us out. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well if you are also new. And join us in the Discord as well. Uh, I'll pop a link in the live chat. Uh, so jump in. We're talking tennis 24-7. Uh, it's also a link in the description below. Uh, there's also a link in the description. Well, I believe uh, I'll pop a link in the live chat. If you want to join myself or J JG playing Tennis Clash, such a mobile game, uh, which has sponsored the channel. And I'll pop that in the live chat. If you want to jump in there and play against myself and JG, uh, <clears throat> we'll be happy to come play you. JG is a bit of, an, of a beast on it, though. Uh, you probably do better against me. But here's a little promo just to... Uh, just to well, tickle your taste buds. And I'm back. Hopefully my internet might have improved now. Swap to the uh, cable this time. So they're going back out onto the court. Can Aslan Karatsev now come back from the depths of despair to, uh, to do it? He's going to have to do it the hard way once more. He is going to have to come back from a set down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's where JG is. He's busy playing tennis clash. Yeah, I think so, mate. I think you're right. I think he's lying to me that he's uh, that he's playing football. I think he's actually uh, he's on tennis clash somewhere. He's probably just leveling his player up right this second. You can tell me. You can go on there and check it out and tell me if he's online. But mate, uh, we really need to uh, see some sort of improvement in this second set from Karatsev, or as it could be, uh, it could get away from him pretty quickly. This one, I think. Uh, not been very impressed with him so far in this matchup. But it's all to play for. Second set. You see what he's done in the past. Let's have a look at some of those stats just quickly. As you see only two aces to one for Corder. Moving on down. Got first service points there. I think it's the second service points there. You can see Corder's been really attacking the uh the second the second serves. Been really good. And uh yeah, his first sub percentage, really good too. So have a quick look down, see the total points one there, 32 to 23. Pretty convincing first set, really, from Korda. Uh, I don't know whether to give him well, praise or to give uh, Karatsev negativity. Uh, it's been not, not the best Karatsev that we have seen. So... Give us your predictions anyway. This second set. Come on. Give us some predictions. What do you reckon the scores be uh, going to be? Are we going to see a third set? Do you think Karatsev has it in him? Does he have any juice left in the tank? Doesn't he want to see the button pressed this evening? Come on. And Corder's just doing a few little keepy uppies there on the side of his racket. Just, uh, I'm guessing Karatsev must have uh, done his traditional. Gone to the toilet. 
maybe that's the maybe that's the key. Did it against Felix? Worked. Maybe that's the key now. It was interesting to see yesterday. Obviously, his Russian teammate Daniel Medvedev up against Kokonakis. <clears throat> and uh, no, not Kokonakis. Sorry, Popperin. And uh, the fact he was cramping all the way through the end of that match and still won it. What a credit to Daniel Medvedev to still come through and win that match. I was very, very, uh, very, very impressed. Rather, uh, Sharuk going with six three quarter. Several more excuses. Well, yeah, well. Not because Karatsev is taking a five-minute toilet break. Here he comes. He's got the towel over his head. Looks a little bit like a lion's mane. Aslan the lion coming back out onto the court. Has he got has he got it in him? Is there the ferocity? Is it just too hot out there for him? He's used to it in the desert, I thought. So <laughs> wildlife going with a Krampvedev. Hmm, interesting. Or Jack is going with Toiletovich. <laughs> I think Jackie's one has a bit more of a ring to it. Ooh, and Charlie's saying plus 215 for a Karatsev match winner uh, in live bets at the minute. That's a pretty uh, interesting one. Well, considering he's come back from a set down in a lot of matches, can he do it again, though? Corder's playing really well in this tournament. And he's already playing well in this match. He's serving. Uh, it was bad for Karatsev to go out uh, on a break of serve as well. It means Korda does get to serve first in this uh, second set. Oh, good return this time from Karatsev. As the toilet break helps, we'll find out. Backhand. No, it's that backhand into the net again. He looks visibly annoyed at himself right now, Karatsev. Yeah, it's not. It's not going that backhand side today, and I think Korda realizes it. He's targeting it right now. So, Chris Mir saying, Korda, very good in decisive tie break. Yeah. And says that Aslan needs to break twice in this set. Well, he's to be happy if he can get one break right now. Right now, he's only got three games to his name, and Korda looking pretty good. Oh, anybody else joining me with some drinks tonight? <clears throat> Having a little uh, swift Heineken. Let us know if you're uh, if you're joining me. Yo, thirty love. Oh, they're going forehand for forehand here. Long from Karatsev, and he's just giving points away easily right now. And Korda not even having to work for this service game. Are we even going to get to see the song? Is the song going to be put to bed for uh, for this tournament? I hope not. <clears throat> Call to serving. Let for service. <laughs> 12 Travel is going to have a guava juice in tribute to JG. Yeah, mate. Send me, a, uh, send me some guava over. I think I need some. I'm having too many Heinekens. Oh. First, first serve into the net. It's a second serve now. Into the backhand side again, and it's another error off of the backhand side from Aslan Karatsev, and that is actually a game to love. So... Well done. Cheers to you, Sebastian Corder. And uh, I think I might even give him a button again. Why not? <laughs> He's playing well. So, got to give credit where credit's due. And he is definitely due some sort of credit right now, Corder. Is that uh, Michael Moe? sitting there watching his uh, American uh, teammate there. Uh, he obviously went out to Lorenzo Musetti. We covered that match. Uh, it was a bit a bit of a weird one. He had some good shots in that match, Mo. Broke his trainer. Did a weird smash. 
that didn't make it over the net. Yeah, it was a bit of an odd one. And here we go. Karatsev struggling on his own serve now. Not good. When we uh we we're never gonna get the song at this rate. Uh sorry, uh Abola. We don't get an Aslan Karatsev, unfortunately. And uh <laughs> apparently with this match looks like it was fixed. Karatsev could beat him with his eyes closed. Korda is being pumped up and is not a good player. Not a good player. He's just okay. Well, I'm sure there's some people who probably argue uh, against that. Well, good forehand there, and Korda chops it, but it's long. I think Karatsev just got to just hang in this uh, whilst this bad spell's going, and he's just got to just stay in it, just stay on serve as long as he can until the fortune changes. So, Jackie's saying... <laughs> Jackie likes a bit of Michael Moe, I think. Likes those muscles, I think. Oh, there you go. We got a big come on from Aslan Karatsev there. He's uh, getting frustrated. He needs something to pump him, up, uh, pump him up there. He needs some easy points right now. 30-15. Where's he going to put this one? Come on. Oh, it's a long serve. It's uh, Abelat saying he doesn't want to win this match. Well, at the moment, I think he wants to. It's just whether his body will allow him to. Good return. It's a winner off the return again. A winner off the second serve again, rather, from Corder. He's just attacking that. So he's, and the thing that I'm noticing here that he's made the adjustment to, that we saw Andre Rublev not make the adjustment to, on that side, on the ad side, he predominantly just serves down the middle and he doesn't really change it up much. And no one really sort of uh, learns uh, their lesson. Uh, Korda seems to know exactly where he's serving. I don't think he has much variety on that side, uh, on the ad side, uh, Karatsev. So, but he's a good winner there from him. And I can announce uh, Anna Kunja, unfortunately, couldn't conjure up uh, a comeback. She is now out Sevastova through. Forty thirty, second serve. Let's see where this second serve goes, because there's a pattern forming. Oh, and that's it. See, he's worried about serving him to the same place, and he's just double faulted. I think he's getting getting worried about get, uh, being beaten with, by winners off of his second serves now, causing him to serve up double faults. So, not a good sign. Here we go. Deuce. Good serve down the tee. Great return from Korda, though, and it can only force it into the net. I mean, it came straight back at his feet, that one. Korda playing great on the return game right now. And Karatsev looking for some answers from somewhere. He's not used to he's used to having it all his own way. Right now it's not happening. He's missed that serve as well. And he's got a second serve yet again on the ad side. Where's he gonna put this one? Corder's just waiting for it. Down the middle. And Corder knows where it's going. The same shot. And it's it's worked. And it's a break of serve. Sebastian Corder. <laughs> And finally, you can say he's worked out what well, he's working him out, isn't he? I mean, he's worked out what the uh, sort of the, the riddle is on those ser or service games. So I think great, great adjustment from Corder. He's studied some tape and uh, he obviously, or he's come and watched the, the GTL podcast. So maybe like a, a like ebook saying, maybe that's a sign you should get him onto the podcast. Chris Smear saying, that's why I told you Aslan needs two breaks. Well, it's not a break unless he consolidates, but it's a good start. 15 love and Aslan, it's all going wrong for him right now. I don't even know if the song can save him now. So, 15 love, Corda. And this is the thing with uh, people who break onto the scene though like like a karatsev or people who are a sort of unknown entity to other players on the tour 
they are able to pull off some big big victories uh, because the the players won't won't have seen their game before. Really, they're able to surprise a lot of players. Great one two punch there from uh, from Corder thirty love. I know that now the song's changing to Sebastian Corder. <laughs> Is we're changing it up. <laughs> Charlie's just going to go and listen to the song. This sucks. <laughs> oh, Nerala saying, there goes my bet slip. Well, don't rule it out just yet. It's not over yet. It's still in it. It's not over until the fat lady sings. Oh, good serve. Manages to get it back in play, Karatsev. Good forehand. Korda. Long down the line, though. And Prabesh reckons that the Aslan train is over. Uh, I don't think it's over yet. It's not over yet. Just uh, just, just keep, keep the faith. Keep the faith. If he can come back from this, it will show even more character. So who else do we have? Do we have anybody else? I don't think there's anybody else out on court right now. I think uh, next due to go out for the women's is uh, Jessica Pagula is up against Maria Sakari. That would be a real epic matchup. I think uh, I'd probably favor Pagula in that matchup. Uh, and Charlie saying Corda was plus 380 to win game two. I almost put $50 on it. Wow. <laughs> that would have been a good one. And here we go. He's looking to consolidate the break. 40-15. Aslan attacks the net. He's gone for the lob. It's it's wide, though, the lob. Good mix-up in his uh, strategies there, Karatsev. He, he needed to do something because it's not working, just playing the same way that he's been playing for the rest of the match. Like He needs to have a plan B. And right now, plan B looks like attack the net, charge the net. Maybe that doubles uh, volley is going to help him out. Oh, into the net here from Corder. And a little chance, small window here from Karatsev if he can get a good return on this second serve. Oh, he can get it back into play. They're going forehand for forehand, and it's long, and we're back at juice here. And there you go, just like that. Games can turn around. I want to say thanks, everybody, who has joined me for this matchup. If you haven't liked the video yet, hit that like button. It's down there somewhere. And if uh, you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, come on, guys. Join the GTL family and join us in the Discord as well. Uh, always looking for new people to jump in the Discord it's because there's the GTL family chatting tennis 24-7 in there. I'll pop a link in the uh, live chat for you. So, Juice here, second serve. Karatsev. Oh, he went for it down the line. He's missed it. Advantage quarter. And is that, was that the chance there? So, here we go. Advantage quarter. Oh, it's long and he consolidates. David saying, do you ever place online uh, bets in tennis? Well, I'm partial here and there. Don't mind the odd one here and there. If it's like a like a big tournament or something, sometimes in the first rounds you can get some like interesting upsets and things like that. Yeah, I just try and save it for like big occasions though a lot of the time. Like, Miami is quite a big one. But there you go. Three love. I think it's time for that quarter button one more time, I think. Yeah, well, there you go. Sebastian Corder consolidates the break. Three love up, 6-3 up. Aslan Karatsev, where does he go from here? Ah, he's got to, he's got to pull something out the uh, out the locker now because Corder just has to hold serve. And uh, I noticed he's not been fiddling with his hair hairband so much today, which uh, maybe is what's helping him to win because normally he's 
adjusting it after every single point. Oh, Chris Mears jumping in again. The business end again. Oh, at three love. Ah, oh, Chris Mears. You're bringing the channel into disrepute, mate. You can't be doing that. I'm going to get too much stick if I start pressing it this early. But wait and see. We'll, we'll see where we get to. We've got, we got a few more games left to go yet, mate. Oh. Got to get another Heineken out. I want to say every uh, thanks to everybody who's uh, been uh, doing the March top tippers as well this month. As you can see, it's quite a competition up there at the top. I think the Thomas Rock may have some uh, extras to be added on there. But I know there were some problems with some fraudulent uh, <laughs> some fraudulent tips coming through from Thomas Rock on the PayPal. But, yeah, he's, he's uh, contacting PayPal to sort that one out. So, yeah, thanks to everybody who's donating to the channel. It means a lot. I uh, really appreciate all of you. Oh, good play from Corder there. And Karatsev's on the back foot a lot in this match. He's, he's opting to go for a bit of slice here. Corder's into the net. Oh, what happened there from Corder? He went for, went for a volley and he just sliced it behind himself. Never seen that shot before. That was up there. Maybe he's got that one from Michael Moe. Managed to do a smash that went behind himself, I think. And uh, he's managed to do a volley that's gone backwards. Interesting. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Thomas Rock saying he is a fraudulent tipper. He's been on the phone with PayPal before the match started. Yeah, mate. Well, we're running out of days now. We've, we've got two days left until that uh, March window closes. Who will be the winner on the top tippers for March? It looks like it's the big three uh, this month. So thanks to all you guys. Henrik saying, first time at this channel. Can't get enough of Karatsev. No. Neither can we, as you can see from the song and from uh, from all the coverage we give to Karatsev. We absolutely we had him on the podcast, obviously as a as a guest, and that was before the Australia before the ATP Cup and Australian Open. And uh, you never know, will we be able to get him on ever again? Now <laughs> we'll have to grow uh, exponentially first, I think. So here we go, thirty fifteen. But I was going to say, yeah, if you are new to the channel, Henrik, then, uh, yeah, please hit that subscribe button, mate, and hit the like button on the video. And, yes, we do cover WTA as well. So, oh, wild there from Karatsev. I mean, that's just the shots that we saw against Lloyd Harris just flying in, flying past him, flying past Andre Rublev. Not happening today, is it? Just, it seems like a... It's, it's just off a little bit. There's just something. It's like he's not calibrated right before he went on the court. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like somebody was, his onboard computer's gone a bit off, like a couple of degrees or something. And yeah, there you go. Great return again from Corder. And he's got another break point here. And he's looking to go a double break up in this uh, <laughs> in this second set. And it's going to start getting quite embarrassing for Karatsev uh, if he doesn't do, we'll turn this around soon. So, break point. Oh, he's got a second serve to look at once more. He's been deadly on these second serves this match quarter. He steps in. It's that same shot. Karatsev can only slice it. It's into the net and it's another break of serve. Another break of serve from Sebastian Corda, and it looking like this uh, the Karatsev train is coming off the tracks right now, and uh, they're dancing in America. You were saying, Chris Mir, that it was a. Uh... There was Cord well Karatsev who needed the double break. Looks like it's gone the other way. Sebastian Corda has the double break. And there you go. He's served up a great serve. It's 15 love. And uh Oz Anon saying, Oh no. He's lost his mojo. No mojo. Post match no, no post match celebratory mojito. No, I don't think so, mate. 
We have to wait and see, though. It's not over till it's over, but look at this. Corder's hitting the ball so cleanly right now. What a winner that is. 30 love. He's looking to bagel Karatsev. He wants to make a statement here in Miami. And it would be a statement. So. Here we go. 30 love. Ace. Look at this. This is Corder is putting on an absolute clinic here today. I think this is why I said before the match started is not one to be taken lightly. It's the and it could just be a mental thing. Like last time he played Corder, Corder did beat him straight sets as well. Might be a bogey player for him. Oh, uh, Corder seems to not be good at the net. Uh, and second slice that's gone completely wrong. Tried to slice it, and it just he gets the angle of his racket head all wrong. Just slicing it way too much so it doesn't get any lift on the ball whatsoever. <laughs> Shrooks and no wonder JG didn't show up for this. He's not waiting to make a storming appearance suddenly just to uh, help Karatsev come back like I did uh, at the weekend. Oh, it was close to an ace there. But Corder looking to consolidate right now. Good second serve. And Karatsev, it's wild. It's so far out. Uh, never mind, never mind. Five love. Sebastian Corder leads and can't stop pressing his button. And JG must be out of his match now. And he's saying, oh, no, this is a bad dream. I think it is. It's like the French Open qualifiers revisited for Aslan Karatsev. Korda appears to be a bogey player for Aslan Karatsev, it would seem. And as you can see there, we look down uh, the last time they met and Korda beat him two sets to love last time at the French Open. And uh, that's on clay. Now he's got his number on the hard courts as well. So is this a sign of things to, uh, is this just a better sign of things to come from Sebastian Corda though, more than anything, that he's able to uh, to derail somebody in such good form? So I think uh, <laughs> Thomas Rock saying PayPal fraudulently hung up on me. <laughs> uh, Abbasa saying game to love set to love well it could well be soon uh it's one game away will karatsev give us a fighting uh any fighting spirit on the end of this and this what could be the last game in this match so we will have to see we will have to see uh will he give us a little button press will we get to press that karatsev button just that one time Big winner down the line from Karatsev. Maybe he needs the button to uh to uh to just liven up. Maybe get us a load of likes on this video, and uh I will be hitting that Karatsev button to just try and give him some incentive to to win to come back in this match. Uh, we're at 50 at the moment on the video. Let's see if we can get it up. Let's see if we can get it up to 60. If we can get it up to 60 likes on the video, we get that Karatsev button. Oh, he's wide. He's 30 love, though, at the moment. Come on. 52 likes, 53. Look, they're reeling them in now. We like it. Oh, Corda loves to... Oh, and what a winner. The backhand side for Corda today has been like a bullet. Still only 53 likes, guys. Come on, get those likes coming in. 54. There's a few of you in there. I'm pressy, pressy. Come on. <laughs> there we go. 30, 15. 55 likes. Come on. Aslan can't come back without your help. We need your help, guys. 56. Four more people need to press that button. 57. It's a double fault from Karatsev. Look what you're doing to him, guys. We need three more likes to give him some sort of uh, inspiration right now. 
He he needs to get out of this service game. Three more likes, people. Come on. You can do it. Otherwise, Karatsev's heading out. Or oh, two more. It's into the net now. Quick, guys. Help save him. We go. Second serve. Oh, we lost a like. That's never good. Oh, and Karatsev is... It's now, look what's happened. He's now gone to match point, and it could be potentially a bagel against Aslan Karatsev. We're up to 60 likes. Come on, Karatsev. One button press. Win this point, and you're going to get one. Be calm. I don't know what to say. Don't know what we've just witnessed here today. Oh, dear. We actually got there. 60. Too little, too late, guys, unfortunately. 60 just after he's lost the match there. 6-3, six, 6 love, but I think credit where credit's due. Sebastian Corda uh, absolutely put on a bit of a, a clinic here today. I think he absolutely... Uh, Blue Karatsev out the water. Karatsev definitely wasn't on his A game. Wasn't on a wasn't wasn't the same form that we used to seeing him playing. But I don't he he looked a little bit like he was struggling against Kukushkin, but maybe maybe he doesn't cope with the heat as well as Corda does. And I think the tactics were just all right for uh Sebastian Corda. I think he just did a great job, to be honest. He worked out exactly how to deal with that hype train. And uh, we see some of the stats there. Uh, we've got, I think they're just bringing them up on the screen right now. Total unforced errors. And that's the big stat there. 31 unforced errors from Aslan Karatsev to only 11 from Sebastian Corda. And winners 12 to 9 for Corda. But the unforced error count from uh, Karatsev today. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there must be some sort of fatigue there. I'm hoping it's only momentary. I don't really want to... Yeah, I'm not going to jump on him too hard. I think we, he's had such a good like, last couple of months. It was going to come to uh, like a, a bit of a halt somewhere. He obviously lost a Dominic team in the Qatar tournament after the Australian Open. He won in Dubai. Now he's out in Miami. Um, maybe the next tournament, maybe the clay courts is when he's next going to make his uh, next defense. But he doesn't want to come up against Corda because that was the person that uh, like stopped him getting any further in the French uh, the bat in 2020. Doesn't want that guy. And it looks like Corda has Karatsev's number. And Corda a lot of uh, confidence as well considering Karatsev has this much hype around his name and he's just gone out there and pretty much just demolished him I mean fair enough Karatsev it wasn't really the uh, the same Karatsev that we're used to seeing but never mind I mean it happens people I mean if this had been the Karatsev from seven months ago people probably wouldn't have been surprised but we were so used to uh we're so used to seeing uh, we're so used to seeing him play well, but I think Sebastian Corda, incredible play, and he sets himself up with an amazing matchup now, which uh, I'm actually I think he could actually win against Diego Schwartzman. Uh, Schwartzman played really well today against uh, Manorino. I think uh, I think that he could potentially uh, I think he could potentially go one more round, and then the winner of that will play obviously. The winner of Chilich and uh, and Rublev and that well, what I, what an epic one that would be. Uh, I think well, if you could have a quarter Rublev, I mean two two youngsters there, or you could have a Schwartzman Chilich, <laughs> slightly older uh, side of the spectrum. So, well, they're just interviewing Corda now. Yeah, and Charlie saying. Time for him to get some rest and count the money uh, for the uh, line. He will be back stronger. It's like a correction in the Bitcoin stock. Don't worry. We're still going up. I like it. I like it. 
I don't be surprised if the actual Bitcoin takes a tumble now. He normally is uh, m- moving along the same uh, path as the actual Bitcoin trajectory. So he's a uh, quarter saying he's super happy. Uh, and uh, 12 Travel saying, is this the one most one sided watch along so far? Uh, not for me. I think, obviously, we support Karat said very strongly, but got big respect for sebastian corder as well i think corder one of the hottest young prospects on the tour and uh i think that from his well potential after that french open was clear to see uh i'm so glad to see him doing it now on the hard courts as well we obviously got to that final in uh delray beach uh it was sad i thought he could have won that one it seemed that uh the nerves got the better of him that day but Never mind. Karatsev out, Corder through, and uh, a matchup against Schwartzman is a is a favourable matchup. You'd you'd probably think. And I think JG might even try and join us now in the live stream. I'm not sure. I'm sure he'll add himself to the stream if that's the case. If he's got good enough signal to uh to speak, but I'm sure he'll let us know. <laughs> this could be a bad sign for Bitcoin then. It could be. It could well be a bad sign for Bitcoin. You never know. Yeah, and we've got the uh, Yannick saying the uh, the, the Karaz coin. <laughs> this could be a new, uh, a, a new type of coin coming out. So I'm not sure if... Uh... Oh. Hello, can you hear me, mate? Yeah, mate, we can hear you. How are you doing? doing? Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm driving home. Uh, I was expecting to see a third set. I thought I'd just give you a little call in, mate, like a like a fan. Yeah, why not, mate? How how is how are you feeling after that yeah, uh, I'm result? I'm disappointed. Just let me know if you can hear me, all right? If the sound yeah, is bad, just cut me out any moment. No, it's but good, mate. I can hear. Say, my take on the whole thing is, I'm just absolutely uh, bemused, mate. I'm shocked. I was hoping to see a good third set. Uh, I've been I've been following the score and trying to see as much of the match as possible, but I've been playing football. I must admit, so I've not been I've not been seeing much of it. But I just can't yeah. believe he got bagel. Like, Mate. What, was he off on the day? Was Corey yeah. that good? Yeah, I think uh, as I was saying on the stream, I think Corda. It was a it was a bit of both really. I think Karatsev wasn't hitting the shots well. At like, thirty-one unforced errors sort of speaks for itself, really. Yeah. He was hitting it into the net a lot, and then the. Uh, the second serve thing, like I was saying against Rublev, when he didn't take advantage of knowing where it was going to bounce, Korda knew yeah, yeah. where it was going, and he was hitting winners off of a lot of Karats of second serve. So, mate, is it time we start respecting Sebastian Korda a little bit more? Definitely, definitely is, mate. I, he's not a fanboy anymore. No, he's not a fanboy, mate. Maybe I was a bit harsh uh, dissing him after that Roland Garros, trying to get Rafael Nadal's autograph. I think I Sebastian know. Korda's the real deal. I may, I mentioned it earlier. <laughs> That's wildlife saying it is JG crying. <laughs> I'm not crying, not yet, but um, just a bit disappointed to be fair. I really want to see how far he can go this time. I know, but it, I think we've got to put everything into perspective a little bit. What this guy's done over the last month, two months, is just remarkable. There's gonna yeah. be there's gonna be peaks and troughs. It's not gonna be all winning. He's not gonna all of a sudden turn into. A beast overnight. He's he's done, he's, done, he's gone pretty close, but he's, he's, this is quite normal. I feel in tennis, we've got to put it into perspective. I think this is not the end of Aslan Karatsev. I think we're going to see him come back stronger than this. Clay court swing coming up. Watch yep. out, Aslan Karatsev. I think he can do it, <laughs> mate. Well, another one to watch out for on the clay court swing is Sebastian Corda as yeah, well. Him as well. I, I think <laughs> what, Aslan Karatsev. Uh, Sebastian Cord is a bit like a Rublev Buksovic relationship at the moment. Yeah. Well, you saw how that ended up earlier today. It was a one sided affair, mate. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely battered, Martin. Uh, it was a bit of a shocking one. <laughs> 12 no. Travel saying JG has some high level multitasking, playing football, uh, still catching up with clips of the tennis. And now he's on the live, live chat. I'll tell you what. Mate, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the to the, the tennis life. Mate, well, why? How can you not be when there's stories like Karatsev's going on? Mate, you've done a, 
Sorry, mate. I just wanted to say you've done a you've done a stellar job tonight. I, I listened to you on my way here. You covered, bad. you covered most of the first set for me, and I thought you've uh, you smashed out the part. I've enjoyed the stream. Nice one, mate. Well, it's always difficult when uh when you're not here, but luckily I have all the GTL family keeping me company in the live chat. So it's, it's I'm I'm never lonely. Uh, Chris Smear said I was home alone. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh. But not quite, not quite. There's always people with with uh, with me in the chat, so it's always uh, a good time. And just sad that we uh, there was a lot of Karatsev uh, fans wanting him to do well here. But Chris Mir, sort of right again. Uh, he said quarter to win. He said in three, but he did say to win. So Chris Mir, well done to you, mate. Fair play to Chris. He's done it again, isn't he? He has indeed. Yeah, uh, I just want to say thanks everybody who did join us, all the regular GTL family, all of the new GTL family, if you're only first time in. Uh, and if you haven't joined the Discord yet, there's a link in the description below. There's a link in the live chat as well. Uh, I can pop it in there again. I didn't pin it in there, I'm afraid. So uh, I'm just going to have to uh, just keep posting it in there, unfortunately, <laughs> which is a bit of a pain. But uh it is what it is. I'm just uh, making do. I've... Yeah, sorry. That's my fault. I should have done that. Mate, it's just one of those things. I didn't even get a chance to press the Karatza button today. How bad's that? <laughs> Mate, that's a shocker. I know. I'm just... <laughs> that's Chris Mears saying, can you play uh, soccer with a microphone? <laughs> oh, must have gone through some bad signal now. This is the only problem, having a... Uh speaking from a car journey so sorry what was that i missed that one no i said it, uh, chris smear was saying can you play soccer with a microphone no no i'm driving home now i'm on my way home <laughs> yeah I mate if I, if I if i could play with the microphone and, and be watching the tennis while i'm playing it wouldn't affect my game i'll put it that way i'm not very good so it wouldn't <laughs> it wouldn't mate uh, you just have to get some of those glasses where you can just, uh, like, or maybe like a virtual reality headset. <laughs> Not sure if it'll anyway, work. Mate, I'll, I'll let you cut off the stream. I'm going to head back. I'm almost home now. Just a big thanks to everyone who joined us for this one. I say joined us, joined Ben. <laughs> uh, I'm not claiming this one at all, but yeah, I can't wait to see you on the next one. I think we're going to be doing some good matches tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we've got we've got action packed tennis, so this is the place to be. Yeah, it definitely is. Cheers for popping on uh, at the end, mate. Just for just for a little roundup. But yeah, like you said, there's some top matches on tomorrow. We need to wait until we see the order of play. There's obviously people like Rusevori versus Yannick Sinner tomorrow. That's a bit of a an, a, an epic. And we got Maran Cilic, Andre Rublev as well. Another big match up there uh, between the old and the new. Uh, big matchup that's going on tonight is Andriescu Muguruza, which, uh, mate, that one's a bit of an epic. So I'm sad we can't cover that one, but we may co cover women's tomorrow. We we'll have to wait and see which matchups. Uh, just keep your eye on the channel, and uh, we'll keep you uh, updated. And uh, yeah, also if... one thing I did want to Go say, on. Ben, is if you've been looking at the the, dra uh, the bracket, uh, the draw on the bracket. Oh no, I haven't looked at. I haven't had a look on the. Leave, sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting my words. But the bracket league for the women's, I think I'm doing all right now. Are you top now? Are you? I'm not sure if I'm top. I've not checked it, but I know I've had some good results. So I'm assuming I'm up there. Mate, it was. Uh, it was yeah, you. You are top. You must know that you're top. That's why. <laughs> no, no, I promise I don't know. I Such a good. My results came in. I had. Uh, oh, okay. Svitolina yeah, so. So. JG is actually top at the moment on the women's bar. I can just share it quickly, just so you can uh, you can have a quick look. One second, I'll just share it so that people can just see what's going on. Oh, that's a bit small for everybody to see. So, <laughs> don't know if you would be able to see that. There you go. Hey, You're up the top there, there mate. Is, 81. <laughs> Jax, look at her. God, she's bearing down on you, mate. Osaka's going to bring it home for me yet again. Yeah, we got. Uh, sorry, there's just some questions coming in the live chat. Uh, uh, what is you, what are you saying, uh, Zamira? Uh, can we do the Pagula Sakari match? Uh, when when is that match taking place? I think that's taking place tonight. Though I don't think that one's going to happen, unfortunately. This is the only stream I'll be doing uh, this evening. Uh, 
yeah, that one's just kicked off anyway. Uh, it looks like it's pretty even. Uh, it's uh, yeah, just boys. Just she's just broken back Pagula. So there you go. It's two two games all. So anyway, I think JG's run out of signal. Uh, I think we we've run out of time. Aslan Karatsev, he's run out of time too. Uh, sad to see, but I think we're going to end it there. We'll end it on a, a little bit of an American note. I'll swap the flag over. Goodbye from me. I'm sure goodbye from JG, wherever he is right now. <laughs>